Wasabi guys, we have a trig integral, a very awkward trig integral from 0 to 2 pi. So how do we even, how do we even come across this? We're going to play around with Queen's rule and try to get this into some sort of symmetry, right? If I do, let's say like, pretty much what I'm doing is let u equal pi minus x, then we get negative pi pi okay don't forget that the negative dx is flips the bounds uh, but we already know that so here we see that this will give us tangent and cosine of pi minus x is negative cosine of x so okay so we have like negative can go out this is an even function so we can do symmetry on this technically so negative 2 from 0 to pi tangent of cosine of x. Okay. But what now? So what we can do is we can keep going. Now we can let u equal pi over 2 minus x. Why do I want to do this? Is because I want to turn this into sine and then maybe there's some cancellation with symmetry because sine's an odd function. So if I do that, I will get pi over 2, negative pi over 2, and then I will get tangent of sine of x. Ah! Now it's very obvious, based on these bounds, there's an odd function. What is this whole integral equal to? Zero. Okay. Now there could be a fast, I think the fastest way is either just straight up graphing it or, but I mean, I don't know how you would graph this, uh, but you could also think of it like period, like a periodicity, uh, I don't know, some advanced graphing knowledge. I, I think that's how most people would go about this, just to solve this quickly. I don't know, there are some people who would say, oh, this is obviously zero because graph, and I just, I don't understand that. So computational wise, this is just a lot easier for me. So uh, yeah, this by Queen's rule, this is technically equal to zero. Okay. All right. I hope that helps and I'll see you guys in the next video.